Hi, this is Krista Renee from All Walks of Life, and I am your host, and it's just me, it's just me, <laughs> and welcome, and we are, well, I can't even say we are, but I am by myself, and so I am going to say my little still, usually I would say, we are a mature journalist trying to make the world better. And what we do is we take episodes or newspaper articles and just what personal events and we try to look beyond what we see. So now that we got our mission statement out the way, let's begin. <laughs> Welcome to All Walks of Life. Well, I wanted to start off with something that's been on my mind. Heckling. That's right. Heckling. Oh my gosh. Have you ever been heckled before? And if you have, how does that make you feel? Annoyed, right? Right. You know, being in customer service and having someone heckle you, it's very annoying. I don't care what field of customer service you're in, when you're heckled, it's annoying in all aspects of the way. And sometimes I say, I wish I could go to their job and not only heckle them, but tell them what I'm not going to do. <laughs> tell them what I'm not going to pay, what I'm going to do, and that I'm leaving. With my money in my pocket, and the merchandise. How far you think I'll get? Not far, right? I just want people to understand when you're dealing with anyone in customer service, whether you're on the phone, whether you're in person, it doesn't matter. Respect that person's job. Do not go to that person's job or even feel like because I'm on the phone, I'm going to just help with that person. That's very annoying. So we as um, Americans, we live, in, we live in a world where we are somewhat privileged. And... We got to stop that. We got to stop that. Heckling is not a good thing. We got to stop that. So I wanted to get that out the way. Stop it. It's annoying. Stop heckling people. So now that we got that out the way. <laughs> On our next topic, let's get into some Wendy Williams. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I know everyone heard Wendy Williams saying that she got married. She, um, she got married to an NYPD officer named Henry, right? Now, we all know that Wendy is not, is probably not in her right state of mind. Some might diagnose her as not being in her right state of mind and I'm not a physician so I can't confirm that she is not in her right state of, not, state of mind but um, we all heard that Wendy Williams um, got married um, to an NYPD officer named Henry, right? And we all remember Hen um, 
Wendy acting a certain kind of way. You know, when Wendy comes out, she does her little Wendy move and her Wendy hello, and she runs to her Wendy purple chair. You know, she's vibrant and um, she's Wendy. You know, and now she's a different, a different Wendy. She's in a different, um, a different space, you know, and um, rumor has it from her manager, she isn't married. So, um, Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked, he broke the story because Wendy contacted him. So it says, Wendy seems to be really going through it. Jason Lee of Hollywood Unlocked exclu exclusively broke the news that Wendy was married and also said that Wendy didn't want to be around anyone in her family for a year but her son. But rumor has it, she um, blocked her son. So, I don't know. After the news broke, many were surprised because we had no idea when there was even seeing anyone. Really. Let alone close to being married. Well, Wendy managers shot the claim down, stating that Wendy basically spoke out of excitement and that... She isn't really married. Jason Lee did not like the fact that it made it look like he made up his story. So he contacted Wendy via phone where Wendy did in fact claim she was married and that Will only said she wasn't married because he saw no point in her doing so. I don't see why the brother have to lie. Because, I mean, he did call her up, and uh, she did say, yep, I am married. She did confirm it. Whether she's in her right mind or not, he called her out on it. She confirmed it. Boom. There you go. So, let Wendy be Wendy. You know, um, married or not married. Hopefully there is a Henry, hopefully there is an NYPD officer claiming her. I just hope Wendy live her best life being who she truly is. And um, whether that's in her state of mind now, because that's where she is. Let's face it, she's in her state of mind as is not right now. So let Wendy be Wendy. So Wendy be happy. Um, I just hope that there is a Henry and uh, just be happy whatever you choose in life um, and live life to the fullest. You had a long time show. I hope you do come back with a podcast. I hope it's for real. Um, and um, I'm not going to uh, wish you well because I don't know if you are going through something mentally. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not going to say, well, I wish you well. I wish you. I don't know. I don't know you well enough to say that, but enjoy your life as it is right now. Enjoy your life in the moment. That's all I can say. Enjoy your life at, in the moment. Okay, so let's get on to some other type of news. Um, what about that bishop? <laughs> Bishop Lamar Whitehead. Y'all know the bishop. The bishop that got robbed um, at gunpoint 
during the Sunday morning service. That bishop, let me tell you, I, I would hate to be in a congregation, first of all, first and foremost, I would hate to be in a congregation and someone come in and rob the church. Um, when I first seen that, the first thing I thought of was um, Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> when was that? Silky Slim and his gang? Did they rob? Some, I know they robbed. They probably did rob the church. I know they robbed somebody. But um, it's not a funny moment. It's very scary. Guns are nothing to play with. And home invasions, church invasions, any invasions is nothing to play with. Um, I'm glad everybody was safe. Um, material things can always be replaced. So, Bishop, I'm glad that you handed over whatever you can without a fight, without a struggle. I'm glad because your life and the life of your congregation is worth more than whatever material things you had on you, around your neck, on your fingers. It was worth more. Your life is worth more than that. Your family life was more, worth more than that. Your congregation life is worth more than that. I do want to point out that um, the heated discussion you had with Larry Reed that went viral. I know people, um, they can make fun of People can be nasty. People can be nasty in the most challenging moment. But you being a bishop, you always have to really, really keep your cool no matter what. No matter what, bishop. You, I mean, you have to really... When you knew you was having a meeting or a sit down or conversation with um, Larry Reed and whoever else that was going to be in this meeting and you knew it was going to be uh, recorded, it was going to be um, live, live stream, that was the perfect time for you to really um, be very disciplined and show people how disciplined you are, not how disobedient, how disobedient you are as a servant to God. So remember that. Um, don't ever act out of character for no one. Not when you serving. Not when you doing your father's work. When you doing your father's work, do your father's work. You know, um, even. Jesus, he was, he, he, I'm pretty sure they, a lot of people pushed his buttons, but he still act in, accord, in accordance and also in obedience to his father. So you um, not even being, a, um, being as um, a, a son to, to God, but a servant to, to the father, Always act obedient. Always act obedient. Even in your worst moment. I know people will push your buttons. A lot of people push my buttons. And sometimes you just have to smile and laugh it off. And when you get to a, your um, prayer room, your worship room, or whatever, a room where you could just scream it out, then that's where you scream it out. But not on social media and not where you have to call people out their names and um, disrespecting another woman, calling her biggie big and all that. Have some control over yourself. I, I mean, personally, 
I wouldn't even want to come to your church just based on that. Not the fact that you got robbed, because I, I sympathize with you and your church. But just the fact that you disrespected a woman and called out her, out her name, um, I wouldn't even want to attend your church. Um, there are some pastors who um, are, that falls into a, uh, a category just like yours, who are disrespectful, that I wouldn't even want to go to their church ever again. Um, so you're not the only one, but you could do better. You could do better. Don't ever let no one push your buttons like that. You could do better. There's, there's room for improvement. And I have what we call the 90-day podcast. Is the You can't really see the 90-day, but it's the 90-day podcast presented by Crystal Renee. And even though this is all walks to life, but I do have a 90-day podcast. And the 90-day podcast, it talks about goals and achievements and um, things that we want to work on. So maybe you should try to work on that. Okay, so really. And um, we'll bring up some footage later. And But please work on that because... I don't think I would want to come to any one of your services. Not no time soon. I, I don't even think I would want to even listen to your services, even on social media. Because that left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, that was very disrespectful. And um, when it comes to um, just, um, it, it, it has nothing to do with women rights is just human beings um you just have to have more self-control okay especially when doing your father's work and know when to react and when not to react and that wasn't a time or place to react that was a time to really just show people i could still be obedient and still take those punches and sh still have a smile on my face but once i get off the air i could probably you know, do a little workout, um, do a little, you know, I seen this lady in the park, she had on some boxing gloves, and, um, I, I, and I was like, wow, what are you doing? She said, this helps me relieve the stress. She was punching, um, I guess her trainer or her husband or whoever he was, but he had on something where she could just punch the bag and it was something to just relieve the stress and maybe you should take that on if that if the stress is really bothering you like that okay so moving on again this is crystal renee and this is all walks to life and i'm doing this solo today Let's talk about um, J-Lo and Ben. Congratulations on your wedding. Congra congratulations. I am happy you you finally tied the knot. Finally, J-Lo. Ja finally. Um, ben, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I do want to say this, and I am not one to... Um, tell anyone about how to um, go about with their marriage. No, but I will say this. Depression is serious. And having depression with any type of addiction is serious. I'm not saying that neither one of them have um, a, de a depression or an addiction, but even stress, st stress comes with um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of build on anxiety, and that can make you 
overwhelmed and can make you depressed and uh, can lead to other addictions. So um, I just wish you both the best of luck. I hope your marriage will work. I really do. Um, I hope there are no signs of clinical depression on either side because it is tough. Trust me. Um, I've been married and I am divorced and dealing with someone who has uh, an addiction um, to alcohol is serious. Okay. Um, so, I hope it works. I hope what all you've been through, what all you've both been through, I really, really, really hope it works for both your families. Um, I hope it lasts forever, like Keith Sweat says, make it last forever, okay? Um, you, you, you two um, look beautiful together, um, so the stress should be over with. Um, Ben was on a boat relaxing, so hopefully you could just relax together. All I can say is, don't, neither one of you, from just experience, don't be over controlling. Still be you. Ben be you, JLo be you. Okay? Still be you, do what you do perform, act, whatever you do, but don't try to take over each other's life, okay? That is where the downfall will come into play, okay? That's where the obsession will come, and that is not a good thing, so... Congratulations on the wedding. I'm glad you guys got married. But, honey, take it one day at a time. Any problems, talk through it. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Between the two of you. No friends. No girlfriends. Um... If you two could work it out by yourself, together, do so. Um, try not to get the kids so um, wrapped up into your um, arguments and see you guys argue or fight or whatever. I don't know whether that will happen. Try not to. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing because kids do grow up. They don't stay young forever. And one thing about children, they got a, a brain like a sponge. <laughs> they taking everything. Trust me, they taking everything. So congratulations again, J-Lo and Ben. Finally, they tied the knot. And with some beautiful pictures, congratulations, congratulations. So listen, that is my time. This is Crystal Renee from All Walks of Life. I haven't been on in a minute. I'm just trying to catch up. I have a um, clothing drive and a tag sale coming up. I mean, this the weather people, listen, please get this weather right. I don't reschedule two I, I had to reschedule twice because they said it was going to rain. I rescheduled on June 29th because they said it was going to rain. And I rescheduled today, which is, what's, what's today's day? August 5th. Because they said it was going to be uh, showers, uh, spotting showers and thunderstorms. And it didn't rain. Listen, 
y'all got to get this together. Either y'all got to go up in space and get this together, take some samples of the dirt. I don't know. Takes I, I don't know what y'all got to do, but y'all got to get this together. But I'm having my clothing drive and my tag sale sponsored by um, the 90 Day Podcast, presented by Krista Renee, Mom, Mom, myself, okay? That is going down this Sunday, August 7th, yes, at 12 p.m. Um, at Polk Park in Hartford, Connecticut. So um, I expect to have some vendors there. I expect to have, um, is it Chef Brooke? Uh-oh, it's up. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Let me get the names right. You know I gotta get the names right. Let me check my phone. Cause I just did the flyers today. And just to make sure I got the name right. Um yes, yes. Um oh Chef oh Chef Boogie. Chef Boogie will be there um, cooking up a storm and let me tell you Chef Boogie he does the um, lop, um, the lobster lobster sandwiches or the shrimp platter sandwiches or chalice and I can't wait to to taste some of that seafood I can't wait um, other vendors will be down here too so I can't wait but this is Crystal Renee. Um, again, from all walks of life, I am doing this solo today uh, because I missed you guys, haven't seen y'all in a moment, and just catching y'all up on what's going on, what's happening in the news and in social media. Oh, before I leave, oh my God. Oh, I am so sad to hear. And this was in the papers today. Front page. Oh, well, let me show y'all this first. Him. Oh my gosh. Four million. Four million. He has to pay up. Good for him. Going to say that the Sandy Hook was a hoax. It really, he needs to pay. He need to pay four million. I don't even think that was enough. Let me get this in. I don't even think that was enough. But the other big story. Y'all see it? Brittany Reiner. She got nine years. And you know what? Awful. Awful. You know what? I'm sorry to say. I couldn't be no basketball player pay, playing for Russia. I'm sorry. That is one country I could not see myself playing for. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I hope they do this trade. I really do. I, 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 and I know the United States really don't like doing um, trades like that because it's really not within our constitution to do that because we don't want people to think that's how we really get down and do business like that. But um, in certain circumstances, it, it really calls for it, but let's get her home. Let's get her home. We have to get her home along with many other people who have been there and the person that we're trying to trade with I think his name is Victor. I know I did. A, we did a story on him on um, All Walks of Life. But, um, yeah, we have to get his life for a few others. Yeah, let's, let's negotiate some good deals, okay? Let's negotiate some good deals. If we're going to get her, let's get some more people to come on home, okay? So, um, Brittany, I hope you come home soon. I hope it be um, before the year is over with, before the year 2022 is over with. 
I hope you come home to see your family, your wife, your team, um, and really leave those Russians alone. But you ain't here for me. But <laughs> anyway, this is Krista Renee from All Walks of Life. It, I am so happy to um, sit down and have a little convo, convo with you guys. I'm going to try to be on a little bit more often, even if I have to be on by myself for a minute, just so that we could, um, so that I can start um, working on some things because some new exciting things is about to happen. On all walks to life, I can't tell you about it. You just have to trust me, okay? So just trust me. But in the meantime, talk to you later. And bye, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.